Welcome to Leaf of Vapes. I am Ray, and you know, I, I don't know why you came to this channel. You know, either you're a subscriber and you guys rock, thanks. Hit that subscriber if you're not. Um, or you're here to learn how to step up your game and DIY some Adore e liquid concentrate. Uh, maybe you're here to check out why when you mix up your Adore e liquid concentrate, it doesn't taste exactly like Dawn Mix. Well, I'll give you one one thing. Dawn, Purple Heart, she put love into each batch, but it's more than love that's in here because you guys all love vaping. So let's go ahead and we're going to find out why, maybe. So you got to you gotta use the ingredients, the right ingredients. I'm talking about the right VG, the right nicotine, and what Dawn prefers and uses. So when you mix it up, you'll get exactly how Dawn intended this liquid to taste. Let's check those ingredients out. Uh, the first thing is your BG. Your BG can be found at Bulk Apothecary and here's the site. Um, I'm going to put a link to this in the description like it will with the other products. Um, this is the glycerin. Um, they do have two different types of glycerin on there. You want the one that is um, this is kosher bulk food grade glycerin. This is palm derived, so you're going to get that sweet flavor like Dawn uses in her mixes. She uses this exact BG. Now, um, you can get by on the 10 pound, that'll be a gallon. 50 pound, 50 pound size would be 5 gallons. Both of these sizes are the same price for shipping, so um, if you're going to be mixing a lot, Maybe you might want to go with the 50 pound uh, option. The second item that you have to worry about is nicotine and she likes to go with Heartland Vapes. Um, Heartland Vapes has all this ultra premium Nick. Um, this is a 100 milligram strength 120 mil bottle and this is potent. Only get this if you are an experienced DIYer. Um, you've used pre, uh, pre-nicked uh, VG before um, or ready to take the next step. Um, vape with me, uh, Rochelle, she uses this and what she does is she dumps this entire bottle into a one gallon bottle of VG, mixes it thoroughly and then it comes out right around three uh, milligram strength. Uh, so that's an option that you can go with. Um, just I would make sure that you get the BG based if you're going to mix it with your BG um, gallon to get that strength. Now if you do not want to mess with 100 milligram strength nicotine you can always go with the nicotine solution. Uh, 3 milligram a liter of it would be $20. They have other sizes. This is where it already comes nicked up for you in the bottle. Um, I would select like here, the 100% vegetable glycerin. Um, that way you're getting VG with three milligram strength throughout. Make sure when you're using this to shake it up thoroughly every time that you use it. But the great thing about this is you don't have to worry about nicotine. You can just add the solution to your concentrate and you can shake it up and it's, it's all done. So those are the ingredients that... Um, that she prefers and she uses so I'll put those links in the description and uh, we'll go ahead and move back to your recipe okay so you got your VG you got your nicotine you have your concentrate let's dive down and make some caramel apple crisp from a Dory liquid using the concentrates what I'm showing you here is the recipe that I have published through e-liquid-recipes.com. The link will be in the description so you can use this to mix. You can also use this to manipulate the percentages, the amounts, and all the data by adapting the recipe to what you need. As you can see here, this is another 20% mix. And this makes 150 mils if you use the entire 30 mil bottle of concentrate. That's how I mix, that's why it's a defaulted to it. It's also defaulted to three milligram strength nicotine because that's why I usually vape. Now, if you don't have that big of a bottle or you don't wanna use all of your concentrate in one, one batch, 
then you can always manipulate the data and we're going to show you how to do that. Click the blue wrench, click adapt this, and then you have some boxes that you can manipulate. Once again, this is always going to default to 100 milligrams. But let's say you have a 30 mil bottle you want to fill up, not 300, 30 mil bottle, and you want it to be at two, actually, three milligram strength again. That's always going to default to two milligram strength. So it's changed down here. Let's go back up. One other thing I like to mention is that if you get close in here, say you you select your nicotine and then your mouse traveled here and you click to uh, drag down the screen. If you click there, it may open up to it being 70-30. You want this to be max VG because the 20% caramel apple crisp concentrate is all the PG you need in your recipe. Once again, the notes in here, this is a 15 to 20% mix. I mix it at 20%. Dawn prefers it at 20%. You can manipulate that if you wish. If you go lower, then you'll be able to make more, um, more with your concentrate. If you keep it at 20, this is this is what the recipe I'm presenting. All right, so the nicotine that I have listed here is the 100 milligram strength, 100% VG nicotine. That first option we seen earlier in the video, whereas the straight nicotine in a VG solution. Now, if you aren't using that and you're using a premix, or let's say you don't use nicotine anymore, you can manipulate this to to mix as well. So if you are using the pre-mixed nicotine solution at three milligram strength, or you are using 0% nicotine, then you can take this and take it down to zero. When you do that, it has changed down here as well. And if you are using that three milligram pre-mixed VG, you would add the 24 milliliters or 30.27 grams to your recipe. Now, one person did mention in an earlier video that if you use the three milligram strength pre-mix VG that we are talking about, when you add the 20% concentrate to your mix with that, it will be slightly lower than the three milligram strength. So keep that in mind if you're using the pre-mix. If you're using the 100 milligram strength, you don't have to worry. You're getting 100% of whatever you're putting in there. Now, um, so that sums up how you do the recipe. If you're using the 100 milligram nicotine, add that. If you're using 0% and using just VG or that pre-mixed VG, add that. And then you have your entire bottle. Or if you're going down to 30 mils, that's 6 milliliters of Caramel Apple Crisp Adore Liquid Concentrate. Mix that all together, shake it up, shake it for a good couple minutes until you see bubbles all the way throughout that. Now, in the notes here, I have also provided the link where you can go straight to the Caramel Apple Crisp Concentrate and also the preferred percentages, like I mentioned, and also how long you're going to steep. This requires at least 15 to 21 day steep. Now, you're going to shake it every day. You're going to leave the cap off after you've shaken it for 30 minutes each day. And with my experience with Caramel Apple Crisp, if you can steep this longer and longer and longer, it gets better and better and better. But at 21 days, it's good to go. Vape it. You're going to enjoy that you made your own liquid using Dawn's concentrates to aid you on your vaping journey. Um, outside of that, if you do have any questions with this uh, recipe uh, using the site, um, I'm not tech that runs the site, so I, I have no hands in fixing anything with it. But if you have some simple questions, I can guide you in the right way of maybe some issues you're having. Leave the comments down below. I'll do my best to answer your questions. Advocacy links will be listed at the bottom of the description as well. Do your part. Fight for your right to vape. Contact your representatives. Go out to casa.org. Go out to notblowingsmoke.org. Buy 
e-liquid from people that are donating to advocacy like Adore e-liquid and do your part. You know, write your representatives, email your representatives, call them. If they're in town for a town hall assembly, go to those town hall assemblies and ask them about the bills that we're trying to get them to co-sponsor, to support. Do something with advocacy. Other than that, enjoy your delicious caramel apple crisp. And remember, life is fucking awesome as long as you're not smoking. Until next time, you have a great one.